Now, let's go to Boss's Gym for some professional fighting tips. Every coach will tell you eyes on your opponent. I tell you nose on your opponent. Why? I want to use my peripheral vision the right way. Example, if I look to here, but I keep my eyes on my opponent, now everything coming from the right and kicks, I can't see coming. If I put my nose on my opponent, well, it's obviously very easy for me to see coming. In the past, when I was competing, I was known for work hard, play hard. Oh yeah, after a fight, it was party time. But people like this in this clip here, who get angry when they drink, they shouldn't be drinking. Check this out. This woman here, needless to say, is drunk. I don't know what happened here, and this clip is probably after one o'clock, because my mother always says, after one o'clock, that's where all the problems start. And look, I don't know what happened here, but maybe she didn't get fries with her order. She starts hitting. This is, this is insane. Somebody needs to control her, preferably me. And once that happens, I will make sure that I hold her and wait till the police come. Now, watch this. She's even going to try to get in. People like this need to be caught. Oh, yeah. I get very angry with this kind of people. All right, because now she steps back into the car and she drives drunk as well. God knows what's going to happen. Check this out. She comes back and breaks a window. All right, let's do this thing. Let's see what Bas Rudin, a.k.a. El Wapo, does. El Wapo likes bailando. <laughs> Hamburgers, fries, cheeseburgers. It's delicious. Lots of carbs, though, and lots of cholesterol. Forget about it. We want it because it's good. Too good, all right? So sometimes, when you refuse a person their delicious hamburger, they get angry. See? That's right. Sir, so go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here. Time. Time out. Time out. Time out. Now, dealing with a person like this, you can't stay too close to the window because when you do, oof, oh, you want to step just outside his reach. Why? Because then he has to lean in. And once he leans in, his power, his weight is going to lean forward and he's going to lose balance. Totally in your control. Check this out. Oh, you want to hit me, boy? Come on, up. Come on, why don't you hit me up, see? And now he's off balance. And once he's off balance, he's all yours. Hat butt to the face. Bam! And when he's knocked out, you want to knee him in the face. What do they call it in Japan? The Hiza Yodan Giri. Hiza is knee, Yodan is the head. Giri, bam! Here we go. Poof! And off he went. Never take your eyes off your opponent. Oh, oh, come on, Dad, come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Oh, Let's see, come on, up, oh, up, up, up. Okay, 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 all right, okay. time out, time out, time out. Now, most of the time in a place like this, when it's late at night, like it is right now, you don't work by yourself. You work with two people. Teamwork is required. It's very important. Hey, you. Keep him busy. You want your friend? You see, now sharing is great and all, but as long as in the end you keep the steak for your, well, meatloaf for yourself. All right? Godspeed and party on. Coming up on Punk Payback. This week's celebrity cameo, Kel Vlow jumps in to help make an FM example out of a low-life big bucketer. And later, witness this innocent bystander deposit this bank robber's plant to the ground in this week's El Wapo Awards. Welcome back to Punk Payback. Ooh, I like this. Some more payback. Ever since the invention of the pants, a problem came along. Pickpocketing. Now, check this out. Broad daylight. Nobody's doing anything. Look, they're knowing what they're doing. Nobody does anything because everybody's afraid to get involved. Not me, though. All right? You want to see how I take care of a problem like this? Because nobody's going to touch my unbelievably great-shaped butt. Ain't happening. Check this out. 
Bye. Today's celebrity cameo will be Calvaloon, who will be playing the part of the convenience store clerk. Pickpocketing, it's a problem. Now, if you have a professional dude doing it to you, you're not gonna notice anything. It's literally like, uh, how much is that, sir? 10 bucks, you go, oh, wallet is gone. But thank God, those guys, they work at the Magic Castle, making the money there in Los Angeles. So needless to say, you're gonna get an amateur. Yes, thank you, sir. A peck of gum would be great. Ding, 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 ding. There's a sign going off in the back of my head. <gasps> Somebody's getting my wallet. Look back, ruffle vision, size up your opponent. Simple twist and boom, knee to the pills. Listen, I can make every show about headbutts, elbows, and knees to the pills. But it's not going to be interesting for you guys. But as Awapo would say, he has a plethora of defensive techniques. So, um, hey, let's do some requests. Request. Judo chop. Judo chop. Good one. Nice one. I like that. Clothesline. Nice one. I like that one, too. It's a good combination, actually. And you do it on different opponents. One when he's smaller, the other one when he's taller. All right? So, let's do another one. In this particular case, since he's smaller than me, I'm going to give a judo chop. <laughs> Same thing. Twist into him. Boom. And while you're busy, grab him and just start unloading on this guy until he doesn't move anymore. But the clothesline, that was a good one, too. That will be this. Normally, I would use this on a little taller opponent. I size him up. I realize, oh, the guy is taller. Same move. And now a big swing. Boom. In the neck with the forearm. Using your whole upper body rotation. Whoop. It's all about the core. And slam him in the neck. There's, of course, way more that you can do. Let's take this one. Check this one out. You feel something? Size him up first, of course. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide this thing to my neck, and this thumb needs to be in his neck. This is a really tight grip. From here, of course, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to start kneeing him in the face. Now, when the clip, it went to the ground. In this particular situation, that victory, me on the ground, will be short-lived. All right, we're going to do a toe hold. First of all, I'm going to go in here, and I simply push him over, whoop, wrap my legs around him really tight. This is very important, because then he can't escape. I'm going to put my hand on his toes. That's why they call it a toe hold, not a foot. A lot of guys do it here. That's wrong. With this arm, I go underneath and grab my own wrist. Now, I keep pushing the toe and pulling my right shoulder backwards, and then... Ow! Nobody even touches my snakeskin wallet. You got that? Do you got that? Yeah. I'm not a selfish guy. You know, everybody knows I like to share. Does anybody want to cut in? Maybe? Try and take my customer snakeskin again, punk. Find out what happens. And now, back to the bar. Knives, they're a very dangerous weapon, especially if you have a double-edged knife, you know, one that you can stab with, slice and dice, just like a, a sushi chef. If your opponent is a sushi chef, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> the thing that you have to watch out for is watch the knife appear in his hand. So, while you're talking, you're expecting a confrontation, make sure you keep your eyes on his hands. Now, when the knife comes, you can use your shirt as a defense. Make sure you have a little bit of space, wrap it over your head, and now rip it around your wrist. Now at least you have a little bit of a padding here. Can it stop a stab? Maybe not. But for slicing and dicing, you might maybe survive a slice or twice, right? All right, now simultaneously attacks are very important. Block and counter, and then you want to control the weapon. But that's for another time. In Mexico, El Wapo means the handsome. In Argentina, El Wapo means the guy with the big cojones. The El Wapo Award celebrates each week one person who saw a situation and delivered their own punk payback. Now check this guy out. He's relaxed, he's analyzing the situation, eating a little bit of popcorn. And look, you look, wait a minute. Is that a robbery in progress there? And there he goes, jump, 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 pop, perfect takedown. Hey, nice ground control, too. Oh but then, wait, whoa, wait, there's more. The librarian comes in. 
Whoa, whoa, what is she doing? Look at her. She's kind of warming up, jumping around. Like, oh! Kicking the head! He holds him down. She kicks him in the head. Ooh. This is going to be very tough. Who do I give the award to? Let me think. It has to be the guy. I mean, he was controlling him, holding him down. Okay, she kicked him in the head, but honorary mention to the kicking librarian. I always say, if I can do it, you can do it. Join a gym, take some classes, train, very important. I'm el guapo. Buena suerte. It is fruit in the last fiesta. Fuck! <laughs>